Hey guys, Quinn here from Cubicle Free. Today I'm going to hand you the keys and put you in the driver's seat for your job search and tap into the hidden job market. To date, you've probably been feeling a little bit apply, 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 wait, apply, wait, apply, wait. I get it, it's frustrating and hard, but there is a much better way. And in these five steps, I'm gonna show you how. You're not gonna wanna miss any of this, so stay tuned. It's estimated that only 30% of jobs actually make it to jobs boards. And out of those, some aren't even available anymore because it's really the bottom of the food chain. For an employer, it's all about risk. They wanna take as least risk as possible to get the right person. And that means that people internally and people they know through their network or through a recruiter or through LinkedIn are more trusted than straight off a jobs board. Also, when you're applying through a jobs board, you're competing with hundreds if not thousands of other people for the same job that may not even exist. So what you wanna do is really move up the food chain and these five steps will enable you to do that but also manage the process of how to actually do that. So. Step one, we want to create a list of all the people you know. And this includes recruitment consultants. It includes people who are connections through LinkedIn and people who are friends on Facebook. On your screen, there's a whole bunch of different groups of people, but start to write down all the people that you know from each of these groups and you'll have a massive list by the end of this, unless you're a hermit, in which case you're probably not looking for a job anyway, so it won't matter. So step two, now you wanna categorize all these people into A, B, and C. A means they are people that you trust and people who are willing to help you with something like your job search. C means that you either don't know them very well or you think that they may be not that willing to really help you out. And B, uh, in the middle. Step three, get their email address or phone number. So just focus on the A listers for now and we'll do B and C later on. Step number four, write a couple of paragraphs, just a few sentences in each paragraph about the type of work you are after in the first paragraph and the type of experience and skills and the commitment you have, the why you are the right person to do those roles. And once you have this written down, it's what you're going to use for a template to then approach these people and ultimately win an interview. Below this video, you'll find a template for exactly what I'm talking about. So check that out and see if you can create something really wonderful, but also something that is going to really put you in the driver's seat to the type of work that you want when you approach the people that are most likely to be able to help you. Step number five, create a plan. This step brings everything together and basically enables you to persevere and really create a great way to ultimately get hired. Week after week, you're going to be doing good things towards getting a job. Basically, you're making your job now to be finding a job and you're being much more proactive about making good things happen. So starting with your A-list, Figure out who you're going to approach to either organize an informal chat over a coffee or a conversation on the phone. And it's just, that's the goal. So you want to be upfront in telling them that you're looking for work and you just wanted to have a little bit of a chat. Uh, I've got a template for this email or for the conversation that you want to have with these people. 
underneath the video. So check that out and use that template or modify it to what you want that'll get the best results. Guys, I hope you find these steps really helpful in taking control of your job search and tapping in to the jobs that you haven't been tapping into before. It makes you feel great when you know that you are in control of the process rather than waiting for another job to come on or waiting for someone to respond. And being positive and confident really helps you in an interview and ultimately to get employed. If this is your first time to this YouTube channel, I would love for you to subscribe because we're all about finding meaningful and fulfilling work that really fills your cup and gives you purpose. So I look forward to your comments. I look forward to your likes. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Cheers, guys.